Kailicha, one of the largest townships in South Africa, is a hotbed of extensively drug-resistant tuberculosis, or XDRTB. Victoria already lost a daughter to the disease in 2010. Last year, it struck her surviving twin daughter, Funiwe. <laughs> When the first day I was taking these pills, I, I was I was even vomiting and, and feeling nausea, but now I'm used to them. They told me about the side effects of that uh, my heart is going to to beat a bit faster than all, all the side effects, but they didn't know that it, it would make me a bit uh, depressed. I was doing the crazy things and they had to tie me in the bed because I was running around the hospital and it was hard to go to sleep. They have to inject me to go to sleep. Funiwe barely remembers the nightmare of her three month stay in hospital. Because her case was so difficult to treat, Finiwe became one of a handful of patients eligible to receive a brand new TB drug called Bedaquilin. She's now doing much better. In order to protect others against the dangerous, airborne disease, she wears a mask in enclosed public spaces. So you're remembering every day? Yes, I remember every day. Yeah. Finiwe finds strength in the support offered by other XDRTB patients. Today, they are meeting at a twice-monthly support group. It's a special session as they are celebrating the fact one of the members of the group has been cured. He managed to beat the odds, thanks in part to the use of another new TB drug called Linizid. <laughs> come, come take a seat. <laughs> I go to the internet to search what is XDR. But each and every sentence they write, they're going to tell you at the end, you're going to die with the XDR. What I hate also, Dr. Jenny, she said to me, you are so lucky because you are in Kailicha. In Kailicha, we have a, 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 a dedicated to some of the medication, and I'm the doctor here. What about the people they stay in Somerset West? What about the people they stay in Kaifanten? They don't get the medication, they are dying. Nelson Mandela or Desmond Tutu had TB at some stage. So that's also an, an encouragement. If you look at our heroes, you, you realize that this disease is for, it's for heroes. If you, if you can fight this, that means you can stand anything in this world. Yeah. I'm glad that you mentioned your hero, Nelson Mandela, because this bracelet here has a quote from him. It always seems impossible until it's done. Mm. In order to be cured like Sia Bulela, Boniwe has to face another year and a half of treatment. She needs to finish the treatment, not just for her own sake, but also to avoid spreading the disease to others.